Hey everybody, this is Trevor. Um, I have a, another video for you here today. We're gonna be talking about how to set up your iPhone as a webcam. This is this one's gonna be pretty fast. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please check out my other videos. I have some performance videos as well as other sort of tutorials. Um, and if this is helpful, please subscribe and you know leave a comment below if you have any questions. All right, so let's let's get into it. So this is uh, this video is going to be primarily focused on using an iPhone. I have mine plugged in here with a uh, Mac computer. A lot of this should work with a Windows as well. Um, I just don't have access to one right now because we're all we're all sort of sort of quarantining and social distancing. So the uh, the first thing you're going to need is to go ahead and go into your Go ahead and open up your phone. So once you get your phone open, you need to go to the app store and see, I already searched for it right there, but uh, type in Epoch Cam and it should come up one of the first things. So with that, you end up with two options. So you have this, this free version right here and this works, uh, it's, the the resolution's a little bit lower uh, than if you got like the paid version, but this is a great way to test this out and see if this works for you. So you would go ahead and you would download this. This is totally free. Um, the other option is seven ninety nine, and that's this uh, this paid version, and this allows you to uh, to send a signal to your computer uh, that's actually HD. So this is a this is a really good option. Um, HD is going to be better than what you get with the free version. The free version is 640 by the other resolution. I can't remember right now. All right, so you got that. So let's start off with the free version. So we open up the free version, and there it is. All right. So here's me. Yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> and it has a few advertisements, everything like that. So, uh, yeah, and right now I'm streaming this through a uh, program, right? So if I just go straight to what's coming out of Epoch Cam, it does give you a clean feed, but you can see it's a little, it's a little laggy. Um, it is free, and it is now working pretty well. This doesn't look bad. Um, so this is totally free, but if you notice, you know, if you move around, you get a little bit of a lower refresh rate. Yeah, and there's like these, those little, uh, I don't know if you call those artifacts and stuff that pop up. Um, yeah, but you know, it's free and this will, this will work. I've used this uh, particular setup for streaming. Yep, up until that. Uh, until that happens. Um, okay, so here's where you select the camera as an option, as a webcam, just like in any other program. Um, we're gonna do this in Zoom, uh, but you'll be able to do the same thing in uh, like Google Meets uh, and any anything that allows you to select the actual webcam. So I'm gonna start a new meeting now that's open, just like usual, I'm gonna say join with computer audio. So this is my uh, this is my computer's webcam right now. So I've queued up Epoch Cam. I just opened up the free version, and I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and select Epoch Cam. And now I'm looking at my camera through Zoom, right? And yeah, this is a lot better than the camera on the computer. Let's just do a quick comparison. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of noise. I actually don't have the lights on in the back right now, but uh, if we go back to Epoch Cam, yeah, much better in low light, a lot clearer, great skin tones. Um, and you can you know, always mess with your lighting. Your lighting is gonna be super important when you're doing uh, any sort of camera work. 
that's that's the main deal uh the camera is a big part of course but yeah uh so this works really well that's how you open it up it shows up as a source just like your your uh facetime camera this will not work with facetime the only uh the only camera that you can use in facetime is the camera that is attached to your mac or iphone or i uh oh my gosh ipad yeah the cameras that are already attached it only allows completely integrated hardware uh, to be used. You can't replace it with any webcam, but any other program you will be able to to use Epoch cam um, And again, this is the free version. We're gonna talk about the paid version here in a second Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the paid version and So let's go ahead and go back into the phone here And here we go. So got our phone. So there is, all right. So we just opened uh, the paid version of Epoch Cam. So now already, I'm just gonna turn this around. I can see that there, that that focusing skip thing is not an issue. It's not happening. You can see that there's actually not, I'm moving this on purpose. But uh, it has, you can see the focus is, it says focus continuous on the bottom. Um, my guess is that there's something in there that enables the camera to work a little bit better. That's within this program. Like allows it to act as though it's actually filming something versus just sort of turning on the feed. So that's going to give you something a little bit higher quality. This is $7.99, which is, you know, $8 plus tax. I get too technical with, or specific with that, but... Um, it's not a ton of money to be able to use your phone that already costs like, you know, a few hundred dollars as a filming device. So this is the unclean, uh, this is just filming off of the iPhone screen. If I go straight into the, this is the clean, uh, feed from Epoch cam. This is what you'd be seeing and yeah, there it goes. So that's actually pretty, that's pretty good quality. Um, you are going through USB and, uh, it is adjusting. There it goes. So now it's wigging out a little bit because I'm getting notifications from my computer. So yeah, good to turn those off. I, yeah, Catalina. Um, yeah. So you can see this is, this is pretty solid quality. Now if I put this, if I set this down on something so that it doesn't get all jittery, which I'm sure is not super fun. That's, that's good quality. And if I'm moving around pretty quickly, you can see there's like a little bit of a, a little bit of a, I guess, I don't know if that's actually rolling shutter or what that, what you would call that. That's when you, you move the camera, but there's uh, the refresh rate is maybe not uh, too consistent, a little variable, right? Uh, so there's some issues with it being a little bit slower in terms of the, the frames, but the focus is working really well. This is super high quality. Um, I'd be pretty happy with this. You can compare it to uh, using my Canon camera here. And this is actually going into the computer in, a, in different ways here. So I'm not quite filming this at its maximum quality, but I am using the phone right now at its max quality and this is pretty great um, I will say the skin tones are a little uh, maybe a, a little a little orange um, so that's something you could correct maybe in OBS uh, or whatever you know whatever uh, whatever software you're using so if we actually look at the various options oops. okay so if we come back to, there it goes. So there's the Epoch cam. So something that's kind of cool is you have these, uh, you can turn on the light. So you can see I just flipped on, flipped on the light right there for the, uh, for the phone. So on and off there and you have these different settings. So this is where it gets kind of cool. So for the free version, you get uh, 640 by 480, right? There's that. That's 
maybe not my favorite to look at. Then you go up to what we would think of as 720 or 1280 by 720, a little bit better. And then you get the full, uh, the full HD, that's your 1080 or 1920 by 1080. So those, those are great, right? Something that makes a huge difference is actually your video bit rate. So I'm going to lower this down and I think this comes at, uh, automatically defaults to two. So this is at two, right? Two bit, uh, two bits and per, uh, for each pixel. And if I bump this up all the way, and it's more information. You can see as I do that, uh, it goes, what is that? It goes from four megabytes per second uh, in HD to, uh, yeah, 19.8, which is a lot. But the quality is is just a little different, right? So that's that's for your, your color um, and yeah, the different your your sort of your your color depth. Your I guess sometimes people talk about the uh, your color science gets more pronounced the more uh, the more information that you have basically. So it's giving it's giving more information. And even if you get the you know little blips here and there, although they're not happening right now, which is great. Um, you want to have if you're going to use a camera, you might as well make it look good, right? So. This is a, a really good option, I would say, if you don't want to go and uh, you know purchase a DSLR or you know spend a bunch of money uh, buying a camera. I would probably put this above uh, using a a Logitech webcam in a lot of cases. Uh, this is much less convenient. Uh, for sure and is not quite as stable uh, the stability being that when you plug this into your computer it's not going to pop back out randomly or anything like that or you don't have to be you know beware of the cord um, you know the this is this is actually pretty stable though um, and yeah so I this is this is a pretty good option if you already have the phone and you have a way of setting this up don't be afraid to use some tape. Um, and if you already have like a great setup, you can consider this a backup. Um, so again, it's eight bucks for Epoch cam uh, and you're basically in business and you have something that's HD and uses, uh, uses your phone, which is gonna have good autofocus also. Uh, yeah, so I hope this is helpful uh, if you you know, if you find that this works for you, please leave a comment below. Let me know if you have other options, say for Windows computers, Windows users, PC users. And uh, yeah, be sure to, you know, like and subscribe. And I hope you have a good, you know, good rest of the day. Um, yeah, talk to you soon.